How's it going, everybody? Doing a... I'm going to be rambling here. Maybe a little bit of a channel update. Uh, and tapping on some things I have around. Such a water bottle. stuff. <laughs> I got a comment and someone replied to that comment. I haven't replied to it myself yet. <laughs> I don't want me to... Because sometimes I'll pop the gun in my mouth as the video starts. And, uh, and that's not the first person I don't think I, I think who said that. So if I remember, I will uh, start the video, then throw the gun in my mouth and start chewing. <laughs> I might just throw a bunch of shit in here. Some sports crap. I haven't been in the mood to sports ramble. <laughs> Recently. Astros swept the Yankees. Uh, the Yankees just cannot beat that Astros team. <laughs> no. Whether or not the, you know, and the Astros, you can go back to the cheating thing at 17, but they can't use that excuse anymore. Uh, the Astros have proved they're pretty much a great team regardless, I will say that. Um, personally, I, I mean, it was fucked up, you know, like with all that shit, but I personally don't really give much of a shit. But the Yankees got swept, they need to do something. Some of those guys sucked. Like, Judge sucked. I feel like he struck out like 40 times in the postseason. He's going to get a shit ton of money, though. He's obviously a great player, but the problem is someone's going to pay him a ton of money, and like within two years, that contract's going to look terrible. <clears throat> but Yankees, man, that's like their fourth or fifth ALCS loss, like not in a row, but the last five times they made the ALCS, they've lost all of them. <clears throat> you know, the mighty Yankees, you expect money, you know, if you're a fan of them. series appearances from time to time. Phillies as well. Phillies, you know, <laughs> Phillies look like they wanted to give up their last wild card spot to the Brewers at the end of the season. They were not playing well, and then boom, they're in the World Series now. So there you go, right? I don't mind the Phillies. Like I said, I was rooting for the Mets this year. You know, the two of my friends are, are Mets fans and shit. But I never, I'm not like a true Mets fan, or I'm not a true fan of any team right now. Like I said, in the past, I used to be a Yankees fan. I kind of just 
There were circumstances where the Yankees were, like in 2009, I couldn't give a shit if they won. Like, I didn't care anymore. Their fans can be really, and not all their fans, obviously. Every fan base has a lot of obnoxious fans, but it's like when you live in the state the team's in, you see it so much, man. Like, 27 this, blah, 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 that. <laughs> At this point, some people have only been alive for one of those titles. <clears throat> I've been alive for, you know, five of them. And the rest, well, they had some in the 70s. I, they did not. They lost, I think, in 80, but either, either way, I was like one year old, you know. Um, I'm more of just a baseball fan. And I, I don't mind the Phillies. Or the Astros, for that matter. It's, I have fans on like 10 years ago maybe God, was it longer than that Denver lost again to the Jets. Russell Wilson didn't play. Still banged up. They, I, that's why I don't care anymore. Like, I was like, oh shit, it'd be cool to see him <clears throat> at least be better. They're actually worse than they were the fucking last, like, three years. Their offense is a goddamn embarrassment. What a shame, too, because the defense is one of the best in the league. <clears throat> this team gives up, this defense gives up, like, 15, 16, under 20 points a game, and they lose, like, all of them. And even the one game they won, they won like 11 to 10 or some bullshit. And the other win wasn't even, that was like 16-9 maybe, I don't know. It's hilarious. It's got to be the coaching at this point because Wilson doesn't look as good even though he didn't play yesterday. But they have so many offensive weapons. Like, I thought they got this hack. Like I've said in the past, I thought this guy Hackick was like a fucking offensive dude. Like he was a product of Aaron Rodgers. All of a sudden, you can't play your fucking make offensive play calls anymore. They fucking suck, man. I gotta laugh, though. Gave up fucking their future. You know, they fucked up. They fucked up giving them a contract extension so quickly. They should have waited at least till like halfway through the season. Realistically, he'll statistically, if he plays the rest of the year and he doesn't get miss any more games, he'll still be better than.
They're three and zero. They have a nice little team, man. They really do. I hope they do well and make the playoffs. Lakers look like shit, though. They're not even that good. That's the thing. It's not like they have some deep fucking team. It's like LeBron and Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook. That guy, like, what a talent! But he really needs to just be the focal point of a team. It's weird. Like guys like Harden and Chicken adjust, and Westbrook could just never adjust. Download and start playing last night, Persona 5. Uh, pretty cool so far. I'm really early on. I haven't even gotten to school yet. I did the first little portion where you're like breaking in there, getting a casino. And then you get arrested. I guess it's you're now like being interrogated or whatever. Or you're answering this woman's questions. And you're, I guess, going to relive that through gameplay. Um, but I only got, like, I guess you get, you get booted, expelled. Because you're, you're trying, I guess this guy with money is like harassing this woman, trying to get her in her car, in his car. And you come along and like wail him, and then he sues you, and you get arrested, and all this bullshit. Because I guess he's like a powerful fucking dude or some shit. And you stay with this dude, I guess, who knew your parents or someone, I don't know. So I just went to the school. It's been more like anime fucking cutscenes, and not, not a ton of gameplay so far. That's kind of how those games are. I'm still excited to continue to play. I think I put it like 40 some minutes in. Um, but yeah. I'll hold on to Game Pass Ultimate probably for another month. I got the one month at a dollar. I'll probably let it roll to 15 and then see if I can complete this game if I'm, I'm into it. If I continue to be into it.
This makes the good like scratches. I'm gonna probably start that game channel a little later than I, I was going to. I was gonna try to aim for like November 1st, but I think I'm gonna probably push that maybe to December 1st. I don't know. I've been a little, I'm not gonna, look, I'm not gonna be able to do the fucking mail. I've been a little annoyed with YouTube lately, but I'm not gonna. <sighs> I typically just bitch about that to myself. Other the channel, I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I want to try to just kind of reheat this channel a little bit. Uh, but I need to, like, focus on the videos. I do, because I need to, like, I'm very, you know, like, I need to focus on videos that everybody wants to see and they're going to do well and stuff. Of course, sometimes you don't know when that's going to be. There's certain ones you always know are going to do well, but. Two movie reviews, the Pearl one. Like, I mean, I put that up on Sunday. I don't know when this video is going up because I have like three now. This will be the third video I have in the tank. I put up, I'm actually on a pretty good string of getting videos filmed so I can have them put up. But, oh, uh, I mean, I'm always happy with my channel and stuff, and I don't, I don't ever want to come across as someone who's just like, man, man, I got over 10,000 subs. There's a lot more people that are struggling a lot worse than me, and I've been in that position as well. I struggled for a while. that sometimes will get to me is I wish I would get more comments on my videos. I'm not one to tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. I just, I always thought that was, I don't know, even on my other channel, I get something like, I would occasionally on this channel for a while put it in the description, but I've never been that kind of person. I don't, I don't, it feels weird to me. I don't know. Or maybe I have to say, hey, you're pretty common on this video. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes I don't, because even when I was, like, going through that big run, I was getting more comments, but I don't get, even on, like, my great viewing videos, I won't get a shit, shit ton of comments. So I always kind of hope I get more comments on videos. Um, but if you don't, you don't. <laughs> not, I'm not saying people should be obligated to comment on videos either. Um, but I know that draw that pushes engagement. I guess this guy's written books. I think he used to be a, a detective or he did something with law enforcement. Um, but I actually watched the second one first. I guess he's done books too. They're, they're based, these are kind of like based on his books. He like narrates and interviews people and shit. But the first one was called Missing 411 Hunted. That one was more about like hunters and stuff that have just kind of disappeared in the woods all over the country. I mean, it's all over the world, too, but he's just focused kind of on the United States. Um, and the 
first one was missing four one which focused more on like young children disappearing in, in the woods and shit. This one was like about hunters and people hiking and stuff like that. Um, I this was actually kind of a very interesting documentary and extremely creepy because some of these people like there's a couple upstate and there's always like there's I guess there's like clusters areas in like almost every state where like bunches of people disappear. Sometimes they find remains. A lot of times they find nothing. And of course, you could be like, you know, someone could have gotten grabbed out of the woods if they were on their own and stuff. They like have the little things they go through. The uh, little sh kind of thing that's like, oh, you know, canines can't find a scent. They get separated from their group. Like all different kind of like things over the whole course of the person going missing and then the search afterwards and stuff. Key things that kind of happen or don't happen. First one, just a regular 411 missing. Uh, he's talking to a bunch of people and he talks to like one of the former heads of like the interior of the park service or whatever the fuck it was, government position. And everybody else he's talking to from whatever the law enforcement or they work in search and rescue or they're like, you know, avid hikers and outdoor outdoorsmen and stuff like that. All are giving you like normal answers of course the government dude because he's like why don't you guys have a list of like all the missing people in, that disappear on federal land and he's going he gives you like this bullshit word salad fucking answer I'm like this guy's been retired and he's still giving his political bullshit word salad no answer answers you know it's like we're not asking you for fucking some conspiracy here thing these guys it's gonna cost money it cost money Because in the first one, they're saying, like, if we had access to all these other people that disappeared and, like, the everything that went on during a search and that didn't, we can improve on that or take things that worked and didn't work and whatnot. But it's creepy because the second one, well, I watched first, but the, the, the hunted one starts to fucking, you know, where it's veering into at a point. I'll get to it in a second. some could have literally been grabbed you, you were abducted by your people but there's instances where you're like how the fuck would that even happen you know mm. you know some people are going off 20 feet and all of a sudden they disappear into fucking thin air you know uh, <clears throat> but it was really fascinating it's sad a lot of the cases are sad and some of them are so weird like the one was so weird how like the person walked the wrong way a bit you're supposed to go get like a cash or something walked the wrong way and all of a sudden he takes his boots off. He appears in another place. He was like sitting down to have a drink. It like snowed a bunch. It's very interesting because strange shit, man. But it's it's it is pretty crazy how many people just disappear in the woods every year, all over the world. Oh, but that's not like unique to any one country. It happens everywhere. Um, I'd watch them though. They're on, they're on. They could be elsewhere, but they're on Tubi as well. Four one. Missing and 411 missing hunted, or missing 411 hunted. And hunted one's so much more like wild because these people are armed, you know, with guns. Or, I mean, you have a bow on you, it's gonna be a little bit harder to kind of, you know. But, you know, they're gonna have, you know, nice knives on them and shit. And some of these people, thin air. Like, sometimes they'll just, like, find your equipment and, like, they say, like, oh, a person will. I don't want to collect the tapping. They'll be like, you know, they'll search a 
huge area, a lot of people, and they'll search an area like 50 times, and then the person's found, their remains are found in the area you search like 50 times. Like, almost like they're being plopped back down there, you know? <laughs> it's actually a very kind of fascinating watch. It's a lot of things, you know, like I said, it's sad because, you know, young kids, every, anybody, older people, you know, everybody's going disappearing. And sometimes they do find remains, but other times they find nothing. And, they, and it, these, these, these dogs can't find traces, or they pick it up for a split second and it goes away. And all that stuff, it's actually, uh, they're both really good. I actually might have to pick up that guy's books. I'm going to have to watch it again to get his name. I think it's David something. Um, Scream Park on. I should put two pictures up on Instagram with a stupid caption, but um, we went up there. It's in Bayville, Long Island. It's in Nassau County. Bayville, New York. <laughs> Nassau County. Um, never been to that one. I am. It's a tight spot. It's like fucking $20 to park there. I guess they have their own parking lot. We got there at 7 o'clock. Thankfully, the things opened by 2. And, uh, there was cars parked everywhere in this hotel thing. I was like, oh my god, this is a disaster. I think we got out kind of smooth, but it's very tight. The North Shore of Long Island is very tight and doesn't have like ample parking as opposed to the South Shore, which seems to have better parking. And the middle will have good parking as well. Uh, at least the places I've been on the North Shore. I'm sure it's not everywhere. Uh, this haunted house, we did the six, very pricey. We did the fast pass too, which kind of helped. Uh, actually, definitely helped because some of those things were like, Phew. it was pretty pricey though <laughs> for two people. So six houses, six areas. There was a like a temple maze one. There was the clown house one. There was a manor one, asylum. There was the cage and the woods. This was a very like three of them I wasn't too big on and the other three I really liked. I had high hopes for this temple one and it was not good. It had, if you see my one picture on Instagram, that one thing was in there and that was really cool, but this was pretty much just walking around and occasionally a person hopping out. It was too long and, the, and I wasn't into it. It was kind of like, all right, let's get to the next one. The dollhouse one was really cool and it had like this mirror thing you had to walk through these mirrors like feeling like oh shit that's a mirror oh fuck that's not the way to go so that one bugged me out a little bit which is cool that one was really cool there's other cool stuff in that one as well uh the cage one was the last one we did that one was too short and i was it was just a bunch of like strobe lights you're walking around these fences and some people come and walk past you and stuff that one wasn't that great either and the thing is every time because a lot of these were in like one big warehouse the sections so you'd every time you'd have to walk out you'd get to the exit and you have to walk all back around to find the next one so it's a lot of like walking the woods one was cool it was just like walking through a section of the woods there <clears throat> it was a little too dark so you were kind of like oh shit i don't want to trip on anything but that one wasn't too bad could have been better but it's harder to work with because you have to worry about what's you're more concerned you're not like looking to get scared you're like oh shit i don't want to fall on my face the manor one was really fucking cool the, I'll get to that one actually. The asylum one was very cool too. A lot of these places have asylum ones. But it was cool. A lot of cool props and stuff. And, and, and definitely good kind of thing. You know, kind of good jump out. People coming at you and stuff. And they come behind you. They always get you better when they come behind you. You don't know. Like you see them at first and you're like, ah, and then all of a sudden they're behind you. And you're like, oh shit. <laughs> um, that one was cool. That had a lot of cool like props and stuff. Done up nice. But 
the manor one was, was, was really cool. There was a part in there that they actually, I, first, I don't know if forget where this one was. If it was, I might have been in the dollhouse. Or not the dollhouse, the clown house. I forget what the hell it was called. All these haunted houses have on this thing where you walk down like a kind of great kind of thing. You're walking on with two, you know, hand, little bars on the sides and the thing's going like this. It's got like, like weird lights and stuff on it and spinning. The first time I went to one of those, I bugged out. Now I just look straight forward and walk, and it's fine. But in the manner, we encountered something like this. In, in, we went to Canada in, in Niagara Falls. There was one oh, one house we went to, and it had this thing where you have to like squeeze through, and I am not good with this shit. And there's a part on this, in this one, and it was funny because these people start walking back towards us, like, oh, you don't go that way. And we're like, what are you talking about? And everybody's like, no, you do. They didn't realize. You have to push through this thing. It's like, you know, tight on you. It's like this kind of like air bubble type thing. And you have to like push through it. And it, it, if you're claustrophobic, like I, I don't like tight spaces like that. So I'm like, ah, uh, I really neglected the uh, tapping there. Let me get a minute tapping here. things man but that's at least playing on you're like ah things you don't like and i don't like it more because once i can see light at the end even if it's a little bit i'm like okay i'm getting there but you're not getting there and you're worried about someone being in front of you and not moving fast enough but that one was really cool once again really cool prop work in there the actors have done a really nice um that was cool this place has a ton of stuff i guess they do this kind of haunted christmas thing as well when christmas time comes but they have like a mini golf course there and they have all types of this little arcade and shit. Um, overall, it was okay. Uh, a little too pricey and not worth the price in reality. Because that temple one I did not like at all and I was excited for that one. The woods one was okay, could have been better. And the cage one was kind of just really short and like not much happening. And strobe lights are always annoying. I have to like close my one uh, bad eye. It affects my bad eye worse, which is weird. Because it's annoying. It's like, ah, uh, it's the manor and the the manor one was really fucking cool, and the doll, the, the clown house thing was really cool, and the asylum was solid. It was like a three and three. Um, a lot of people uh, there. That's why the fast pass thing works. Speed pass, whatever they call it. Um, it was well. It looked cool because it's a little like almost like a little towny thing. It, like the way it's set up and shit. You're walking through to stop. It's a place to get food and shit. So it's really cool. The setup's really nice. I did not like this one as much as Eastern State and, and, and Philly. Eastern State Penitentiary is really good. And uh, Pennhurst Asylum also. I don't know where it is in Pennsylvania, but that one was really good as well. Because <clears throat> these three were, were ones that had sections, different sections to them. But, yeah. Turn this off in a minute here.